Mr Deputy Speaker, as you so aptly put it, this report con uh, concerns cows. How can he get wis wisdom that holdeth the plough and that glorieth in the goad, that driveth oxen and is occupied in their labour and whose talk is of bullocks? He giveth his mind to make furrows and is diligent to give the kine fodder. It's perhaps appropriate that I pause at this stage uh, and thank the interpreters who have been very patient with my flights into Jacobean English over many years. What a tragedy that now the descendant of that honest man giveth his mind to fill in forms and is diligent to meet the latest directives coming out of the common agricultural policy. As the rural year comes to revolve around bureaucracy rather than the natural seasons, we've seen not just a rise in prices for consumers, not just a rise in taxes to sustain the system, but also, bizarrely, a depreciation of output in the countryside. A system designed to help stimulate food production has ended up damaging both the farmer and the consumer. Here you have in microcosm what is wrong with state control. The sooner that we get out of the common agricultural policy and design a policy tailored to suit the needs of our own countryside, the better for all concerned.